Hi FlossTube, I'm Pam, welcome to my channel. Today is Wednesday, November 17th, and this is FlossTube number something. I don't know, 40 something. I didn't check and I have no notes. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, filming at the shop again. Not sure if I'm gonna continue filming at the shop. I don't like the echo. I don't like the lighting. I don't want to have to come up with a setup here. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm here today. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you stay a while. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. I just, I just want extra points because I'm on two weeks in a row. I might actually be back on schedule. I don't know what I even want to talk about. No notes. Um, life updates. What has happened in my life since you've seen me last? I opened a needle workshop. First week went amazing. Thank you to everyone who stopped by and placed online orders. Truly appreciated. You made my first week a success. And it's exciting and fun. And one downside, this is probably TMI. I've had to wear a bra pretty regularly and I'm not a fan of that. But other than that, <laughs> having somewhere to go every day amidst stuff that I love is really, it's bringing me joy. Um, what else do I want to say? Ooh, I had to get a crown. That's not fun. You know what that's from? Soda. I have a soda problem. And not going to the dentist during COVID. So yeah, I'm just airing all my sins right now soda and missing like two dentist appointments. I needed a crown. So I'm going to have a temporary crown over the Thanksgiving holiday. We'll see how that goes. Luckily, Thanksgiving is all about the soft food, like sweet potato casserole and dessert. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Tonight is the first Stitchy group on Wednesday nights. I'm excited to see how that goes. And this Saturday is the first Floss and Friends Stitchy Group. So Wednesday nights, you can just show up. You don't have to sign up in advance. But on Saturdays, the first and third Saturdays, I don't have the December dates in on the website yet, but they're coming. Um, you have to sign up for, for, the, for the Saturday, just because I, I'm worried about space. So we'll see. If it looks like space is not going to be an issue, I might take the sign up situation off. But for now, that's where that stands. I keep looking out the windows. I'm expecting a FedEx delivery. So if I get really quiet and I go off screen, it's because I'm getting the FedEx order. And I won't sing you a song that for that one. I know that you all are huge fans of my on, on hold songs, but that might be a little weird for the FedEx person. What else? That's it. That's all I have for life updates. My dog's fur on her tail is growing back after her surgery. So it looks less weird. That's a positive. That's it. That's all I have. Um, I have worked on some things since you've seen me last and they are things I think we haven't seen in a while. So that's always fun. Cause sometimes I feel like you see the same projects over and over and over again. Um, this is not what I worked on first. So I worked quite a bit on Barbara Anna's Dreaming Frida, which was like a three part mystery. And I think you can get the whole thing now. And I'm sorry, you can like see the pattern through. I don't know how to stop that, but that's what it's gonna look like. And I'm stitching it on 20 count Ada. It's called Through the Stones by Be Stitch Me. And I'm really pleased with how it's coming. So I worked on, I put in the sun and all of like the sun's rays, you can barely see them. And all the little white birds and this like leafy twiggy bush situation. Barbara Anna uses them a lot in her designs. I don't know what they are. Some sort of plant life. And then I started the hair. I got a lot of hair done. So 
I mean, we're getting there. So I have to finish the hair and I have to put Frida in and then, and then it's done. I don't know when it's gonna come out again, but I really enjoyed stitching on it. That was a few days of stitching. I think I worked on that on Saturday and Sunday, maybe Saturday night, Sunday day. And then on Sunday night, I got out my, I love my hubby stitching, which I keep in my stitch all the things bag because this is what my husband looks like. Um, which brings me to the point, if you ever come by the shop and the heat's kicking on, I apologize, it's gonna be loud. Um, if you ever come by the shop and there is somebody sitting in the back or standing around that looks like that, only with like a dark beard, it's, it's my husband. You can say hi to him. His name is Kevin. He really likes to play shop with me. He knows nothing about cross stitch, except that there's like X's involved, but he likes, he likes to have a shop. So I let him play. And he's been super helpful because we all know that technology is not my friend. So if there's a technology issue, I need him. Anyway, on the 14th of every month, when I remember, I get out Celtic Tree of Life by Artisy Cross Stitch. This was a project that he picked out to learn how to cross stitch. That did not go well. And then I adopted it for him because he didn't like cross stitching. Um, I'm doing it on 14 count way Ada. There goes the heat. And I got a couple hours in Sunday night and I got all of this done. All of that right there. So I'd like to think it'll come out again in December, but it all, I guess, kind of depends on if I remember. And frankly, at this point, it depends on what day of the week the 14th falls on, because I have not been getting a lot of stitching when I get home at night done. I'm just tired, <laughs> mostly. And I'm sure like everything will even out and I'll get back to a regular stitching routine. It just hasn't happened yet. And then last night, I was stealing the Nantucket Girl Sampler. I apologize for the glare. And I finished the windmill. I am stitching this on 40 count Fesby by Seraphim Fabrics. And it's a big piece of fabric and I've got a little bit of stitching done. So this is what I worked on, the windmill right here. And this is a conversion that I didn't, I was not splurging for the MPIs. So this is a hand dyed cotton floss conversion. I think I grabbed a little bit of all the different brands. So I don't know, it looks in the picture like the windmill is like yellow on the inside with red blades which is fine on the picture. In person, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna trust that when it's all done, it's not gonna look weird. We're just gonna trust. And if it does look weird, there are a lot of weird looking samplers out there, right? It'll be fine. And that's what I worked on. We're eight minutes in. You've already seen everything I worked on. I have no haul because all my haul at this point goes to the shop. I'm not, I have not been purchasing anything for myself. Um, and there's something about having a needle workshop in which like, there's not that panic that I have to buy the things because I have the things. I, <laughs> it's a different mentality that I'm finding. Anyway. What else do we want to talk about? Plans. I still have three ornaments I need to do the beading on and finish up for Christmas. I think my at-home stitching is going to be the pixels that made us, the gamer cell that I was doing for my son. I know I'm not going to get it done for Christmas, but I need to start plugging away at it. So that's the plan. And then any shop stitching I do I'm trying to get the little like sled, I don't have the patterns in front of me, the little sled ornaments. Mm -hmm. 
course, I, I'm not pulling the ones that I'm actually working on. Why is that always the way? These are not the ones I'm working on, but you know, these little slide ornaments. I'm doing the snow folk ones just to have in the shop, just as models. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Ooh, I forgot to talk about this last week. Hold on. I have not disappeared. I, you know what? <laughs> so, okay. When my children were little, there was this VHS tape that you could rent at the video store called like Baby Songs or something like that. Let me know if you have seen this VHS tape. It had the silliest songs on it. And one of them was, My Mommy Comes Back. <laughs> and when I step away from the camera and sing you a little song, I always kind of, in my head, I'm going, my mommy comes back, she always comes back. I'm not saying I'm your mom, but like, maybe we could make it Pammy, I hate Pammy. Don't ever call me Pammy. But it kind of goes with the song, right? Pammy comes back, she always comes back, she never would forget me. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Did you, did you have, did you watch this? For those of you with children, did you watch this with your kids? There was like wiggle your piggy toes and don't wash my blanket. Don't take it away. I, I don't know. Anyway, I want to talk about this. So if you have watched all of my floss tubes, which I don't know why you would have, but extra points for you. And if you have not, if you go back and watch the ones from the spring or summer of last year, I have like a green wall behind me and I'm in my living room and behind me hangs this sampler. It's not this one, it's the one I stitched, but it's this one and it's the only thing, It's the only thing that I have ever stitched for years and years and years and years that I kept and hung in my house. Um, and I love it. Mine's in a black frame, not in a brown. And I knew that it was called a Quaker Friendship Sampler, but I didn't know who it was by. And I had bought it locally back in 1996. And I started it in 1996 and I finished it in 2002 because that's when things took me forever. Um, mostly because I was a monogamous stitcher, which meant, you know, you get bored and you put it down. And then, you know, a few months later you pick it up and you do a little bit and then you put it down. So, and I've always wanted to restitch it monochromatically, but I didn't know who, who the designer was or even if like what its real name was. And then I had a fangirl situation. So my friend Becky, who has loaned me a ton of models and used to be a designer, was in the shop and she was pulling out her models and she was bringing some of the models of things that, a mix of stuff she had stitched from other designers like this and that, and models that she had stitched of her own design like this. And then she pulled these out, both of them. And I was like, Becky, I love these. You stitched it too? Like, oh my gosh, she's the designer. You don't even know. I was beside myself. I was gushing all over her. I'm sure it was embarrassing. I, I felt like fate and the universe were like coming like, I was beyond excited. You have no idea. And so now I've got her models hanging in my shop and I can keep mine at home. And I was like, oh, Becky, I need like a million of these to carry in the store. Her design company is samplers and such. And I've got a bunch of them. You can see them on the website or come into the shop, but serious, serious fan. I, I, I don't think she'd ever encountered anyone so excited <laughs> that she was a designer of a cross stitch pattern. So yeah, that was my fangirl story. 
What else do I want to talk about? Bird updates. What do I usually talk about? I feel like I've forgotten how to floss too. Bird updates. I know we talk about birds. The Junkos have arrived. They're adorable. They've been like hop, hop, hopping on the ground all under my feeder. They make me happy. That's all I have for bird updates. I also am reading The Lincoln Highway by Amor Tolls. I don't know how to say his name, but he wrote A Gentleman in Moscow, which is my favorite book. And so far I am loving The Lincoln Highway. Is that what it's called? Holy moly. Hmm. Also, I have not started any holiday shopping, which is probably going to be a problem in a few weeks. <laughs> My kids have not told me what they want and they're too old for Santa to come. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I only have 16 minutes of stuff to talk about. It's because I don't have any haul. I have to buy things for myself. All right, that's all I have. Oh, shop update. Um, next Saturday, not this Saturday coming up, but next Saturday, the 27th, I'm doing a grand opening at the shop. And there'll be a raffle basket and possibly cookies. I like cookies. What else? I think that's it. I think that's all I have. I just got an order in from Lindy Stitches. So if you're looking for her holiday patterns, they're here. And, um, I got some Carolyn Mannings in, so if you're looking for that granny square daily temperature chart that I did last year, I have it here on the shop. Uh, um, what else? Oh, of course, what else? Bendy Stitchy Designs Trunk Show is here. It is amazing to see the models in person. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, What else do I want to say? This is why I need notes. Oh, I placed an order with Needle and Flax, who dyes linen, and I'm very excited. That should be coming in within the next week or so, maybe two weeks. Oh, and this morning, I placed an order with Primitive Hair, the new, like, Christmas collection. Have you seen the Krampus chart? I can't wait till that comes in. I think that's all I have. I'm really, I can't talk for another 20 minutes and, and make this a long video. I have nothing to say. I mean, I suppose I could like tell you a story, but I don't have any. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. I hope you guys all stay safe and healthy and happy. I'm sorry this was a short one. I feel like I wrote notes about what to talk about from last week that I forgot to talk about last week. We'll see if I even upload this. I feel very disorganized. Okay, rambles, rambles, rambles. Okay, I will see you all next Wednesday. I promise that I will have more to talk about. And, ooh, and we'll be able to talk about my birthday start because next Thursday, not tomorrow, but next Thursday, AKA Thanksgiving in the States, um, it's my birthday. And I'm gonna start a turkey because hashtag turkey baby birthday sal. And um, it's gonna be a big turkey and I can't wait. I mean, I won't have started it when we chat next Wednesday, but I will get it out and show you the pattern and I will have fabric and I have pulled my floss and We'll give it a good chat. Okay, that's really all I have to talk about. See you next week. Bye everyone.